Hi friends, I'm going to show you a little tip on how to refresh some vintage flowers that you might find in your stock. I have a couple of examples here um, to show you. These both came um, flat in an envelope sent to me as a gift from a friend who's a milliner in Boston, Denise Wallace Spriggs. Um, and so right now, as you can see, this is really totally flat. But if I wanted to put this on a hat, I, I wouldn't want it to be flat like that. So the first thing that I would want to do is bend these wires so that we have some dimensionality to it. Not a huge amount because it's got to fit around a hat, um, but you don't want it to seem two-dimensional. You want it to appear to be three-dimensional and in a natural looking kind of way. So there I've done my manipulation of the wire and now I'm going to This is my iron. I'm going to hit it with some steam. Let's see if I can get some of these previously flat petals. sort of stand up and do some new interesting stuff. All right. So you see how this now looks a whole lot more fresh and dimensional and nice. So if I'm going to put this you know, along the crown of a hat, bending it into a little curve, it becomes a good dimensional element. Now let's look at these guys, these little blue flowers. Um, these are vintage. They are probably from the 1950s, maybe as old as the 1940s. Um, and for these, we're going to use steam to refresh them as well. My iron is cranky because I've used it to sew like 50,000 masks over the past couple months. And that is a slight exaggeration, but not really. I'm just gently touching it with steam here and it looks like you know if I were gonna stitch this on a hat now that would be what it looks like as opposed to when it arrived and it was flat this is a much prettier more uh, elegant, sophisticated looking flower than that. 